Our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment. Brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. For more than 120 years, the Bonner Mill was one of the region's most important economic mainstays. When it closed in 2009, it hit Bonner and Western Montana hard. But for several years now, more diversified businesses have been moving into the Bonner Mill Industrial Park. The newest is a well-known Missoula family operation just in time for Easter. Kevin Mackey has our Montana Moment. The old Bonner Mill site is home to 25 or so small businesses that together employ about 600 people. One of the most prominent buildings in the Bonner Mill Industrial Park is the mill's old administration building. Called the White House, it's where the mill conducted its business operations and workers picked up their paychecks. We have a really cool vault out in the factory floor that they use for storing gold and money and things like that. We use it for storing our gold in the form of chocolate. Paws Chocolat has renovated part of the old administration building into a state-of-the-art chocolate factory. We're strictly uh, bean-to-bar chocolate, meaning we bring in the beans from um, equatorial regions around the world, mostly South America. We add them to our melangers, and we actually make the chocolate 100% from scratch. The melangers are these stainless steel tubs where the beans are constantly rotated for roasting. Roasting takes anywhere from five days to a week. The business obtains its beans from a single origin. From a certain farm in a certain area in a certain region, and we know exactly how they're going to taste. We have bars from Costa Rica, Peru, Colombia, Brazil, Dominican Republic. They're all the same content of like percentage of chocolate and sugar, and they all taste different. And so it's up to us as chocolate makers to better bring out those floral notes or more roasty notes and it all comes through on and on the roasting process anna and jason willenbrock opened posh chocolat in downtown missoula 19 years ago you'll find their products in this boutique in the florence building in missoula as business and demand grew they needed more room to make the chocolate this is great like we've seen little kids that came to our store when we first opened now they're coming back with their kids. Skylar Seals is a pastry chef. He was making oatmeal raisin cookies. And we uh, make these into cookie sandwiches with a buttercream. It just gets busier around Easter. <laughs> We're always busy for the holidays. For years, customers have been coming back for Easter candy. The Easter eggs, for example, they are a tradition for many families in town. Like there is this girl that every year, she's like, make sure you save me one. Anna says Jason has been working on the spring collection. And I saw a little label, it said mango. Laurel H packages the products. This chocolate egg that is white chocolate and milk chocolate. It's got Rice Krispies in it. So this is our posh chocolate Easter egg. So it's milk chocolate. Um, and then it also has uh, chocolate-covered peanut butter pretzels on the inside. You have to crack it open. Many of them are hand-painted with cocoa butter, like this bunny. Travis Egan is an assistant chocolatier. I am working on the flathead cherry balsamic caramels. Paw Chocolat's roots are international. Jason is originally from St. Louis and came to Montana in his 20s. Anna is from Brazil. Grew up, you know, big Latin family and always around the table and all that. They met while students at the Culinary Institute of America. Jason became an executive chef at Triple Crick Ranch in Darby. When Anna was done with her internship in Spain, I hired her as our pastry chef. Became our pastry chef. Within a couple years, we got married. They say opening their own business wasn't easy. It was a very slow grow. It seems like now people look like, oh my God, they're in this big factory now. But it's 19 years. Today, the business sells chocolate to national parks. It also contracts with other companies. Jason designs recipes for individual businesses. And then I design a recipe for them and uh, send them uh, uh, some samples of different variations of said recipe. We package it, put their name on it, and ship it off to them. Anna takes care of the company's business. She likes helping people through a bad day. I get to sometimes write those cards because they order online and I, there's an option like, you know, do you want to write a note? And then it's like, that makes me so happy to see that what I'm doing at that moment, it's going to brighten someone's maybe not best day, but it'll make it a little bit better. Anna says that's her favorite thing about owning a chocolate company. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.